Item number SCP-3375 Object Class Euclid Special containment Procedures All publicly operated aquariums in North America and Europe hosting 500 or more species are to be monitored for the appearance of SCP-3375 instances. In the event that SCP-3375 instances are noticeably documented appearing in public view, a Foundation Disinformation Department team is to disseminate the story indicating that the presence of SCP-3375 is part of a trial-run special event involving trained animals on loan from a private institution. All staff of affected aquariums will be debriefed with a similar cover story. Coinage left by SCP-3375 is to be collected and stored in the nearest Foundation-owned facility. Writing left by SCP-3375 is to be removed using methods that are not obtrusive to aquarium inhabitants and onlookers. Description SCP-3375 refers to an anonymous population of heterocongrangonae, garden eels, observed to spontaneously manifest in public aquariums in the North American and European continents. Of note, individuals of the heterocongrangonae subfamily are native to the Indo-Pacific region, as well as the Atlantic and East Pacific. SCP-3375 instances appear and generally behave identically to their non-anomalous counterparts. According to the limited collected data, SCP-3375 instances will typically manifest. Though singular instances of SCP-3375 have been known to manifest, it is more common for two or more SCP-3375 instances to appear together. At large aquarium displays with sandy substrate ideal for burrowing and emerge head first from the substrate during regular scheduled feeding times. SCP-3375, unlike the non-anomalous counterparts, will readily consume any small pieces of food present and remain undisturbed by the presence of other animals. SCP-3375 instances will quickly retreat back into the burrows if a human approaches with the intent to extract it from the burrow in the area. Following the feeding period, SCP-3375 will retreat into the substrate and after a period of 30 to 60 seconds will reappear holding a single seclos. A silver coin issued by the Argumentate Persian Empire from 520 BCE to 450 BCE to 330 BCE, weighing approximately 5.4 to 5.6 grams. Coin in its mouth. An SCP-3375 instance will then deposit the coin in the substrate and withdraw into the burrow it originated from. Once SCP-3375 is no longer in view above the substrate, any evidence of the burrow it apparently occupied disappears. Coins produced by SCP-3375, while in unusually pristine condition, exhibit no anomalous properties. If no food is introduced to the tank at the time of SCP-3375 manifestation, SCP-3375 remained at its burrow and placidly observed nearby fish. Should SCP-3375 be kept waiting for food longer than 10 minutes, it will retreat into its burrow without producing coinage. As a peep, this behavior has been observed in three public aquariums, Despite increased foundation surveillance of the facilities, none of the three aquariums were visited again by SCP-3375. On rare occasions, usually involving multiple instances of SCP-3375 manifesting in the same location, the first SCP-3375 instance to appear will leave its burrow and seek out the nearest flat surface.
the SCP-5375 instance will then use its tail to deposit a layer of dark-colored mucus. Lab analyses currently cannot be performed, as the mucus dissipates upon an attempt to collect samples. To form the script SUPAS, translated, I am thankful or thank you. Upon such an act being performed, the SCP-3375 instances will return to its burrow, and all SCP-3375 present will each produce the typical cyclos and collect the coins into a small pile, with the first SCP-3375 adding an additional cyclos to the top of the collection. It is noted that SCP-3375 manifests exclusively in water environments that differ widely in animal and plant population from those preferred by their non-anomalous counterparts.